Yeah, and uh, there's the shop right there, right there in the corner. And I am going to get uh, a packet of uh, the Lego Batman movie. Oh, right. uh, now that was a complete dud, they didn't have the minifigure I want. Um, let's hope they haven't stopped today, they told me they would have yesterday, so I'm holding them to their word. So what did... Three masks and three days of trouble get me, well, $35 out of my bank account, and also a packet of the Lego Batman movie minifigures. Now, I know which minifigure is inside, if you've watched my vlog, you will also know which minifigure is inside, but for the sake of YouTube suspense, I'm gonna pretend like I don't even know who's in here. So, let's cut this bad boy apart. It kind of saddens me a little because these go for quite a lot in the aftermarket now, sealed. But uh, I really like the figure because he looks very reminiscent for, of the one from Zero Year. Um, people say he's based off the Killing Joke, which is a comic I haven't read yet because I'm too young for all that weird stuff. But you know, Zero Year is a really well made comic and it's almost identical except that he needs a mouth slot. Now, here's my uh, crafty have scissors and we're just gonna make a, a quick little incision here make sure no capes get caught there we go and uh, we can open it we can rip it the rest and in there as you can tell is a very nice lego red hood minifigure uh, for all non-comic readers the red hood was the joker's alias before um he got dropped into the vat of chemicals at uh, the Ace Chemicals plant and became the Joker. However, uh, in more recent comics, it was the uh, the alias that Jason Todd took on after he was uh, reborn from being uh, murdered by the Joker in uh, Death in the Family. So, right now, we can just place his cape on like so it is the older style of cape which i actually prefer from the new style because um it looks better on minifigures it looks more thin and it's definitely more uh more uh, realistic in my opinion so she is the red hood uh this is more of the jason todd version because of the face mask however if we replace the mask with the hood uh with the dome piece uh, this will be more of the Batman uh, Zoya or a Killing Joke uh, variant, which is worn by the Joker or what presumably was the Joker because it's not really clear. And here's the hood, and you can place it on like so. Or uh, you could say that Clayface wore the dark tan jacket, but there's a whole other thing about uh, comic retcon and so on and so forth. So over here is the minifig. It comes with this new dome piece which fits uh, quite snugly in there. Uh, this is also the piece that is used on the 2017 Lego Batman movie Mr. Freeze which looks like, which looks a lot like the animated series version so I'm going to try my hardest to get that Mr. Freeze figure. But right now it works pretty well for a uh, Red Hood, very comic accurate in my opinion. And he also has a nice three piece suit underneath. And uh, there's a bow tie printed on there, which is kind of comic. And uh, he also has this cape over here, but no back printing. So uh, the coronavirus is really hitting the world very poorly currently. And uh, as you can tell, it, it's really mask intensive. And a lot of families are losing money, not just from buying toilet paper masks, but also because people are losing their jobs. Uh, the stock market is falling. And um, some companies are, you know, laying off some employees. So I just like to say that during this time, we should uh, look out for each other in the community and go and support some local businesses. Sure, my thirty-five dollars, uh, Hong Kong dollars, wasn't all that much, uh, but it's uh, it's still a nice way to tell the the owner of that private Lego store that I went to that I appreciate it and it's worthwhile keeping. You're still open during the coronavirus because people will come and buy. 
So it's really as much of a monetary uh, support it is, it's more of a moral support in my opinion. So uh, if you have a Lego store near near you, if you have a privately owned store near you, hell, even if you have a chain store near you, any store near you, you just go yeah, show show your thanks. Maybe just buy one or couple one or two couple things. Just show them that we appreciate that you're still open for business and coronavirus. Thank you for being open. So I just want to end the video on that note. Um, do your standard YouTube stuff, uh, subscribe, notifications, comment, like, blah, and uh, support each other during the coronavirus, stay safe, do your homework, and bye-bye.